You're getting screwed if you don't know the 2438 rule. What is the 2438 rule? Tom Wishin, who designed clubs for many of the top manufacturers and was vice president of research and development at Golfsmith and started his own golf club company, describes it in his book, The Search for the Perfect Golf Club, as a rule of thumb used by club makers in the golf industry. The rule is, the typical amateur golfer cannot hit an iron with either a loft of less than 24 degrees or a length of over 38 inches. That's the 2438 rule. The loft of an iron cannot be less than 24 degrees, nor can the length of an iron be more than 38 inches. Before you jump up and say, but I'm not the typical amateur golfer. I'm better than most of my friends. Unless you routinely win club championships, then yes, you are a typical amateur golfer. Swallow a little pride and come back to earth. The 2438 rule does apply to you. Now, companies have always known about this rule. In the 1960s, 24 or 25 degrees of loft and 38 inches of length was the standard specs for a three iron. Companies made two irons for the better golfers who wanted them, and they were about 21 or 22 degrees. Of course, you may have heard the saying, only God can hit a one iron. The fact is, most companies didn't make a one iron even in the 60s. If they did, they were 18 or 19 degrees. Truth be told, most golfers in the 60s didn't have an iron lower than a three in their bag. And that three iron was a 2438, 24 degrees in loft and 38 inches in length. Lofts have changed a lot over the decades. And that should get you thinking about what you have in your bag and how the 2438 rule applies to you. Let's take a look at the offering from some modern golf companies. Here's the specs for Callaway's Big Bertha irons. These are game improvement irons. They're supposed to be easy to hit. Notice the specs on the 6 iron. 24 degrees, 37.5 inches in length. That's the specs from a three iron in the 1960s. The five iron has a loft of a two iron. And the four iron, well, remember the saying, only God can hit a one iron? Maybe we should update it to say, only God can hit a four iron. Because Callaway's four iron has the loft of yesteryear's one iron. Next, let's look at Callaway's Paradigm AI Smoke Max Fast Irons. Boy, that's a mouthful. These are marketed as being super easy to hit. The 5 iron is 25 degrees and is their lowest iron. So at least they aren't making anything less than a 24 degree iron. But look at the links. 39 inches, 38 and a quarter. If you are following the 2438 rule, you shouldn't play anything less than a seven iron in this club because the six and five irons are too long. Finally, let's look at PXG. It's been the hot darling of clubs for a while. Let's see what they are doing different. These are the PXG 0311 XP Gen 6 Iron Specs. Another mouthful of a name. They are marketed as PXG's most forgiving iron. What immediately jumps out is how strong the lofts are. The four iron has the loft of a one iron, which only God can hit. The six iron has a loft of 23 degrees, but also the links. The four, five, and six irons all have links over 38 inches. These are long clubs. If you are following the 2438 rule, then you shouldn't play anything less than a 7 iron in this PXG model, based on both the lofts and the links. Obviously, every golfer needs clubs that will hit longer than a 7 iron. 
but that doesn't mean you need to buy these unhittable clubs just because they make them. Stop buying these four, five, and six irons that you can't hit that no amateur can hit. I'm not telling you what you should replace them with, whether hybrids or fairway woods or nothing. That's up to you. But stop wasting your money on clubs you can't and never will be able to hit. That four, five, and six iron, that's three to six hundred dollars depending on the brand. Three to six hundred dollars for something you'll never hit. Three to six hundred dollars that could have been used on hybrids, woods, a driver, wedges, or even a putter. All clubs you can actually use. Ones that have a chance of improving your game. All the club makers know about this rule. It's not a secret. Why do they keep breaking the rule? Because you keep buying them. Now that you know this rule, start following it. Take the unhittable irons out of your bag, rearrange your club mix, and play better golf. That's what it's about, playing better golf. And you don't play better golf by having clubs in your bag you can't hit.